Hi, I'm Bruce Allen with Coldwell Banker Residential Real Estate, and this is your Local Connect for real estate in our area. Local Connect is an introduction to you for companies that will enhance your experience with buying and selling real estate. Each time, we will interview a key leader from that organization and ask them to explain what they do, but more specifically, how they can be of service to you. Today, I'm joined by Jeremiah Ortiz, owner of Jeremiah's Painting, a Central Florida-based company. Jeremiah, thank you for your time today. Thank you for having me, Bruce. Many of us as homeowners walk by the outside of our homes several times a day, and we probably don't look at the exterior painting as closely as we should. How would a homeowner know that painting is soon to happen for their house? Well, the first thing the homeowner should do is just simply pass their hand on top of the surface of their house. If after they take their hand off, they notice that it's full of chalk, it's an indicator that it's definitely time to paint the house. Um, secondly, look for cracks in the surface of the house. The most common ones are stair step form that you see on the walls of the house or vertical lines. Those are very common. Those are good indicators that the house needs to be painted. Um, but if you see the long vertical ones going from top to bottom, you definitely want to have that taken care of soon. And once a homeowner has decided to paint the exterior of their home, what would be the first step that would be taken? Well, the first thing that we do is um, aggressively pressure wash the surface of the house to remove any kind of dirt and debris, rough up the surface so the, set, the, the coats that follow would, will adhere better. And um, once that's been done, Ceiling would be the next step? Well, before we do the ceiling, we like to go through and, and fill in all the cracks around the windows and anything that we see as far as like the stair stepping or any kind of cracks within the surface of the, of the property. After that, then we'd like to go over everything with a nice primer sealer. And the primer sealer basically is there to fill in all the pores of any kind of masonry surface so that the finished coat has, adheres better to the surface. Sounds like sealing is a key step in the process. Sealing is very critical. If you don't seal the property um, properly, then you don't get as much life out of the finish. And uh, the type of paint that you use then is the finishing coat. Is it acrylic that you use? 100% acrylics, that's what we use. And um, depending on the quality of the acrylic will give you a little bit more, a little bit less time. The um, the one that we prefer to use on the exteriors is the elastomeric hybrid because of the elasticity. So it, where you will notice all these small hairline cracks within the exterior of your house, that paint will fill it in. So it, it's just a better coverage. And in the Florida sun, how long do you think a homeowner would get from using acrylic paint on the exterior? Um, on the low grade acrylics, we go seven to 10 years. On the higher grade acrylics, we go 10 to 12 years. Very good. If a viewer of Local Connect wanted an estimate for painting their house, do you mind if they contact you direct? Not at all. That'd be great. And just uh, remind them to mention you so they can get a 10% discount. Great. Thank you. You bet. And to our viewers, we appreciate your time today. If you have any questions about what we reviewed or more generally about real estate, please don't hesitate to contact my office. We are here to navigate the outcome you want. Thanks. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.